good afternoon to everyone. So this is the continuation of the video uh, last time, which is about statistics. Okay, so I'll be sharing with you the lecture on our topic for this afternoon. So hopefully you can see it. Okay, so we're going to discuss the measures of central location. Okay, so these are the mean, median, and the moon. Okay, so uh, I'll be defining them. I'll be showing you the solutions, and I'll be solving a few a few problems. Okay, it, for each one of them. Okay, so first is the mean or the average. Okay, so the mean of a data set is the average of all the data values. Okay. If the data are from a sample, the mean is denoted by, so a small letter X with a bar on top as an X bar, is equal to the summation of X sub I, or all the given values, divided by N, okay, so total number of the sample size, okay. Now, if the data is from a population, the mean is denoted by mu, okay. So, mu is equal to the summation of X sub I all over the capital letter N. Now, capital letter N, uh, represents the population size. So the main difference is n here, small to n is a sample size. Okay, so how many, how many, what, uh, how many did you get as a sample? Okay, and here is the population size, so meaning lahat sila is kasale. Okay, so let's solve an example. Okay, so example number one, the number of employees at five different drug stores are three, five, six, four, and six. Okay. So treating the data as a population. So meaning parang lahat ng chan. Okay. Uh, it's uh, kabuuan ng lahat. Okay. Five drug stores. That's it. Okay. Find the mean number of employees for the five stores. So it's a population. So we're going to use mu. Okay. It's equal to summation of x of i. So all the variables, all the given data. Okay. Uh, all over capital letter N. So since the population, we use capital letter N, okay? So just a summation of all the employees of all the drugstores, five drugstores, we have three plus five plus six plus four plus six divided by the number of drugstores, which is, which is five, okay? So we get 24 over five or 4.8. So that is the mean. Now, 4.8, we could uh, round it off to 5. So we're taking one of the employees. Okay? So, tao ang pinag-usapan natin, empleyado. So, hindi naman pwede, ganun yung empleyado mo, empleyado ko is 4.5. So, that cannot be. So, meaning one person is only half. Okay, hindi naman maliit siguro, mid-set, but no, hindi siya pwede. So, kung ganito siya, we're talking about uh, not, not, not variables, not a digit, or not, not, not weights. So, tao ang pinag-usapan. So, dapat whole number siya. I think you get my point. No? Hindi pwede, ang tauhan ko is 4.8. So, uh, the average is 5. Okay, so, convert the answer into 5, rounding it off. Okay? So, next example. Okay. A food inspector examined a random sample of seven cans of a certain brand of tuna okay, to determine the percent of foreign impurities. Okay, I repeat, a food inspector uh, examined a random sample of seven cans of a certain brand of tuna to determine the percent of foreign impurities. Okay, the following data were recorded. Okay, so 1.8, 2.1, 1.7, 1.6, 0.9, 0.5, 0.7, 0.9, 2.7, and 1.8. Okay. So compute the sample mean. Okay. So sample siya. Okay. So remember the problem states that the inspector examined a random sample. Okay. So our formula will be x bar is equal to summation of x of i all over the small letter n. Okay. So your x of i given all the values 1.8, 1.2, and so on. So we add them divided by the number. Okay, small letter n, number of samples. Okay, so we get 12.6 all over 7. So answer is 1.8. Sorry about that. So 1.8 now, it didn't have round off into 2. So we're talking about impurities. Okay, so it's 1.8 to be considered. Okay, so next, we go to weighted mean. Okay, so the weighted mean of a set of numbers, x sub 1, x sub 2, and so on, until x sub n, for, with corresponding weights. Okay. W1, W2, until, of course, WN, okay, how many, uh, uh, if the sample has, has uh, let's say, five Xs, you should have also five Ws, okay, uh, so it's given by this formula, so it is capital X bar, okay, weighted mean is equal to W1 sub 1 multiplied by X sub 1 plus W sub 2 multiplied by X sub 2 and so on, until you reach the point, how many samples or how many items are there, okay, so it is divided by adding all the weights, 
lang. Eh. So it's better to understand. It's easier to understand with an example. With an example. Okay, so I've placed arrows here, okay, for you to easily understand it, okay? So during a period, during a one hour period on a hot Sunday afternoon, Yolo served 50 drinks, okay, so 50 drinks, okay? He sold five drinks for 50 pesos, 15 for 75 pesos, and 15 for 90 pesos, and 15 for 150 pesos. Compute the weighted mean of the price, of the drinks. Okay, so as you can see here, your X is the price okay, for each of these cold beverages or drinks. Okay, so we have 50, 75, 90, and 115. So these are excess, X sub 1, X sub 2, X sub 3, X sub 4. Now, what are their weights? So meaning, yung first mo is only 50 pesos, pero ilan ba ang nabenta? So that's the weight, that is the value or magnitude of, uh, ilan ba talaga, ilan ba, ilan ba, ang 50, ilan ba ang 75, ilan ba yung 90. So those are considered the weights, okay? So dito sa first, we have 5, he sold 5 for 50 pesos, then he sold 15 for 75, and then he sold 15 again for 90, another 15 pieces for 115 pesos, okay? So I repeat, your excess are here, the prices, and your weight is how many were sold. So you know, bigat niya, that's the weight. Okay, so overall is you add all the double values together. So we have 5 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15. So all in all 50. So parang lahat lang ng mga weights nila, kung ilan ba talaga yung nabenta, yun yung uh, denominator mo. Okay, so you add all the double values together. So we have 4,450 divided by 50. So you get 89. So that is the weighted mean of the price of the Drinks. Okay, so hopefully this is clear. So I added a few arrows here for you to, uh, to easily understand the problem. Okay, so that's for weighted mean. Now let's go to the median. Okay, the median of a data set is the value in the middle when the data items are arranged in ascending order. So hindi pwede na given na random yung mga numbers mo, then you just get the one in the middle. No, you have to arrange them. Okay, ascending order. Okay, so from the lowest to the highest. Okay, for an odd number of, of observations, the median is the middle value. Now remember, middle value siya when you have arranged them. So let's say 81, 86, 85, 84, 87, 81, so on. So marami silang random. So kailangan mo nang arrange ascending order. So from the lowest to the highest. Now, if they are odd, meaning kunwari sample mo is 7, so the fourth is your median kasi add number kung nine yan, yung fifth number mo ang median. Okay? For an even number of observations, and the median is the average of the two middle values. Okay? The median may be reported instead of the mean when the data set includes a few extreme values. Okay? So the median, I repeat that, the median may be reported instead of the mean when the data includes a few extreme values. Okay, so let's look at the symbols. Okay, so if the data are are from a sample, the median is noted by x. Uh, it's called it's called a tilde. Okay, yung uh, parang sa Spanish for senior and español. Okay, so uh, it's called a tilde. Okay, so yung nasa babaw na x mo. Okay, and then when it's a population, it's mu again with the tilde. Okay, so nasa babaw niya. So that's your symbol. A sample against X with a Tyndall and population is uh, mu with a Tyndall. Okay. So let's have an example. Okay, they're just simple examples. Okay. Uh, normally you have uh, around 50 to 100 and more items that you you have to arrange. Okay. So uh, on a five-term test in SAD. So SAD, uh, it's not yung parang balong ko. No, SAD the subject in IT. Uh, in computer studies, okay, it's, a, it's designed, okay. A student has made grades of 82, 93, 86, 92, and 79, okay. Find the median of this population of grades. So, like I said, uh, the given value should be arranged uh, from the lowest to the highest ascending. Yeah. So, before you get the, the median, let's say, example, in this one, 82, 93, 86, 92, 79. If you're going to take the middle of this, it's 86. Okay, since we're going to arrange them, 79, 82, 86, 92, and 93. So, it's an odd number. Okay, so odd number siya. So, pag odd number, yun nasa gitna. That is your median. Okay, so this is 5, so middle is 3, that is 86. Okay, so your mutant now is equal to 86. 
uh, results for a population. Kasi lahat ng mga grids nandito na yun. Okay, let's try another one. The nicotine contents for random sample, okay, it's a sample. Okay, so we're going to use X with the tendal, okay. Random sample of six cigarettes of a certain brand are found to be 2.3, 2.7, 2.5, 2.9, 3.1, and 1.9 milligrams, okay? Find the median, okay? So we're going to arrange them, for, uh, sending order again, okay? So this one is 1.9 until 3.1. So in this case, even number siya, it's 6. So walang kitna yung 6, okay? So kunin mo yung dalawa, which is yung third and your fourth. Yan ang kitnas, okay? So add them, it is 2.5 plus 2.7 divided by 2, okay? So this is for even numbers. So, pag even ang numbers ng mga given mo, sample, sample or population, the two in the middle, okay, you add them, get the submission, and then divide it by two. So, in this case, it's 2.5 and 2.7. So, divide by two. So, you get 2.6. Okay, so that's how you get the median. These four even numbers, and the other, for, for example, this one is for add. So, pag center siya, sa so add is madali siya magkuha. Okay, pero in this case dito, Yan, dalawa sila, so divided by 2, but that's mo silang inan. Okay, now let's go to the final measure. It's the mode, okay? The mode of a data set is the value that occurs with the greatest frequency or pinakamaraming beses siyang lumalabas, okay? The greatest frequency can occur at two or more different values, okay? If the data have exactly two modes, the data is bimodal, okay? If the data has more than two modes, the data are uh, the data are multimodal. So, ibig sabihin, let's say, uh, sampu kayo sa classroom, okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, may, ang grade nyo kunwari is uh, 85 and so on and so on. So, pag sampu kayo, yung dalawa dun got a grade of 85, yung dalawa na nakakuha ng 86, and then yung dalawa na nakakuha rin ng 87. So, yun yung highest value to, so pwedeng tatlo yung mode mo. Basta equal sila, okay? Hindi lang, hindi lang isa, okay? So this one is only, I think, one mode, okay? So here, if the denominations from the residents of a fair, fairway forest uh, towards the field lung associations are recorded as 9, so donations na are recorded as 90, 100, 50, 90, 90, 70, 80, 60, 100, and 110 pesos. What is the mode, okay? So in this case, as you can see, the highest frequency is 90. Three times siyang lumabas. Okay, so that no basis siya. So your, your mode now, the highest, okay, na pinaka, uh, palagi lumalabas with the highest frequency is 90. So your mode is 90. So like I said, let's say uh, one here, this this 90 here, this 90 here is an 80, it's an 80. Imagine that this one is an 80, okay? So meaning you have two 90s and two 80s. So you have two modes, 90 and 80. Since the low, pareho silang doon ang basis na lumabas, they have the grade, the highest frequency of the given sets. Okay, so I think that's all for this topic. So this is in measures of central location, the mean, mode, and median. Okay, so that's it for now. That's, uh, I'll, I'll be continuing with other topic statistics, but that's for the central measurements, that is mean, mode, and median. So hopefully this helped you to understand these measures of central locations. So that's all for now, and I'll see you again in the next video. Good afternoon again.